Let's see how to use logic in determining a truth value. The following statement pertains to support for the death penalty in the United States in 2008 compared to 1997. There was no increase in the percentage of Americans who supported the death penalty, or there was an increase in the percentage who opposed the death penalty and those who were not sure about the death penalty. The first thing we want to do is to write the statement in symbolic form. So to do so, I've taken the statements that we're interested in, the increase in the percentage who supported, the increase in the percentage who opposed, and the increase in, of those who were not sure, and I've called those P, Q, and R. So P is the statement there was an increase in those in support, Q is the statement there was an increase in those opposed, R is the statement there was an increase in those unsure. So looking back at our problem, we have there was no increase in the percentage of Americans who supported. That would be the negation of P. We have the disjunction, or, and now we have these two statements put together with an and, so we're going to have an and statement in between. There was an increase in the percentage who opposed, that's going to be Q, and there was an increase in those who were not sure, or who, those who were unsure, that's going to be or. So this is going to be the symbolic format of that statement. Use the information in the following graph to determine the truth value of the statement we came up with in part A. Well, here's the graph that we're interested in. Notice that we have what's going on in 1997 compared to what's going on in 2008. So let's determine the truth values of P, Q, and R in relation to this. P, remember, is that there was an increase in those in support. Well, notice that this is the line or the bar that corresponds to those in support, and that has decreased. So we're going to say that our P statement is actually going to be false. There was not an increase. Our Q statement, was there an increase in those opposed? That's going to be our middle bar. We had 22% in 1997, 30% in, in 2008. So there was an increase. So our Q statement is true. For R, was there an increase in those unsure? That's going to be our bar to the right. In 1997, 3% were unsure. In 2008, 7% are unsure. So there was an increase in those unsure. And now, if we look back at our symbolic representation, we're, I'm going to replace the values of P, Q, and R with their truth values. So this is going to be equivalent to saying not false or true and true. So this is going to be, the negation of false is going to be true, true and true is going to be true, and true or true is going to be true. So we can determine by using our symbolic format that the truth value of that statement is true.